Hi, I'm Brian English, Wappler Forum named Hyperbytes, and in this module we're going to look at managing our SEO data via the admin console so that we can update, change, etc. those SEO settings. So first thing we're going to have to do, obviously, is to create a page, um, and within that page we need to uh, add some management facilities. So I'm in the admin folder. I'm going to create a page within an admin folder and I'm going to just simply call it SEO. It's a content page. We'll be using the admin layout, in other words, secure layout um, that we created earlier to ensure that nobody can get into there that shouldn't be there. So we've got our page. I'm just going to save that now because what I need to do now is to just pop into that layout page, our admin layout. And I'm just going to do a very quick tidy up of that. I'm just going to get rid of those entries that we have in there that we're not actually using at the moment. That second one, we're going to uh, rename it to SEO. And we're going to make that go to our CWD admin SEO page that we've just created that will be an internal link so we're okay with just marking that as a t internal and let's just save that let's go back into SEO page now and we can uh, start creating the page that we want and what we're going to do is we're going to use a bootstrap table generator for this so we're going to generate a table pulling the information from our uh, search API action that we created earlier with a few little tweaks of course so let's start with our container our row our column I'm then going to go down to generators and show you the table generator now there's something we need to do before we actually create that generator what we need to do is actually pull the data down from the server to do that we're going to use our data server connect function I'm going to give it that connection and name and then we're going to link it to an action and that will be admin SEO and in this case search we won't be using these sort and direction uh, fields uh, certainly at this stage probably not at all in this particular action but you'll notice also it knows that it wants a filter parameter sent to that API action I'm just going to ignore the filter in the short term what all I'm going to do is I'm just going to create that basic list of SEO terms and then we'll tweak that once we've got that created so I'm in my column I'm going to go down to generators I'm going to go to bootstrap bootstrap a five table generator and we're going to say we're going to populate that from that data query that we've just linked here let's select that sorry no double click and select and you'll see now that they pulled all of those fields down for us and they're all shown as text fields at the moment we're going to be tweaking a bit of that later the only one probably that's we're we don't need in there for table purposes visually is the SEO ID um, so I'm just going to remove that from the list obviously it's still available there if we need it um, from the um, server action itself and let's just I tend to go for the full house on this let's have the whole lot responsive small hover bordered striped we're not going to do sortable headers at the minute we can prefix things from here uh, again this is not, not something I tend to do um, very often and now let's just click OK and yeah this time it has worked I'm pleased to say we're not seeing any data in there it's purely because uh, remember we filtered that data of requirement to be an administrator um, let's save that but if we now pop that open in a web browser we log ourselves in uh, I'm just going to disable that password extension temporarily because it's irritating the hell out of me 
Let's do that again. It was Brian at hyperbytes.co.uk. Password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. Let's log in. We should now be able to pop that open and we should be allowed to be there. And there we are. We see that we have all our pages that we've created up till now. Notice we're also getting our admin pages SEO linked. Um, we'll have to program that out because we don't want them to be. But that just shows you how the bootstrap table just shows you the data and we can say scroll across um, and view that. So let's go back into Wappler. Um, I think we'll make that container a fluid container so we get the full width of the screen because we're going to need that. And uh, we also said we want to make sure that those SEO actions within the admin are not entered into the um, SEO table. How do we do that? Well, we go back in the globals and remember how we, we are already filtering out anything that has, uh, just give me a moment while I follow my code here. Um, this line here. So if the condition URL split one, in other words, the, um, the first part of the um, code is not equal to API, then it will do that. We're going to just extend that condition now. So there's our current one. We've uh, this is a action where the else does the things. So if it's and, I'll just do hand edit this because it's the easiest. I'm going to copy it. That's better. And what we'd want is also need to make sure that it doesn't index anything which has CW admin in it and I've just completely removed that accidentally by clicking in the wrong place my apologies so this means and the double atmos and means a condition is and so if the first part of the URL is not API and it is not CW admin. So there we have our condition, and that condition should indeed stop us indexing anything that is within the CW admin folder. So let's just save that. Go back into SEO. Uh, actually, I'm going to go into our database, SEO database. We're going to manage that date and I'm actually going to remove the admin entries for that let's go back into our SEO screen now sorry I'm just make sure that's saved yes it is <coughs> excuse me back in our SEO page let's log back in I could spell my own name, it would help. I'm just going to fire up now that admin page again, the SEO page. There we are. We see we've got the correct entries. And if I refresh this a few times, then if the system had been indexing those uh, files within the CW admin folder, they will be appearing here now. So that shows that that condition works and we've excluded them from there. So that's our start of our action, but we also need to be able to filter it. And the only thing I'm actually going to bother filtering on is this page name here. Um, so that if we want to find a particular page, we can just type in its page name and this list will be filtered with reference to that page name. So how are we going to do that? Really, really easy. Um, within that container, I'm going to add another row inside. 
and in that we're going to add a column and in there I'm going to do nothing more complicated than add a text input. Notice I haven't bothered putting it in a form at all because um, we don't need it in a form because we're not going to have a submit button or anything like that and we need to give that text control a name of filter. Remember we said we would be put creating a, a get input for the um, search API record so we now have um, the filter there called filter we can also I think in this case you'll see why I'm doing this it's important that we have a recognizable ID if we go back now into a server action filter what we can do is say that we need to filter that on the value of that input we will at a later stage show you how to do multiple value inputs but at the moment this is a straightforward sim single keyword type search we know now need to just pop back into our actions we need to find that SEO search we're going to just do a small amendment to that and what we're going to say is where the page name contains a filter term. Let's save that. Let's now pop back in that SEO page again. Let's fire it up. I really should start storing my keyword here I think rather than uh, typing it in every time. Store my uh, login I should say. click remember me let's now pop back in because the quickest way of doing this is just to pop back in let's fire that up and now we see we have our list but up here we have a box and obviously we need to tidy this up a little bit but if I was looking for login we should just be able to type in log let's see that filter that list is automatically filtered on this field dependent on what we type so if we want to change password we start typing it again that filters there and so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some buttons to allow us to edit um, and delete entries as required um, and then we need a form obviously to be able to update those details and we need to look at how we're going to manage those images as well so we can uh, change image links as required so I think we'll end this module here we will uh, start another module to cover the uh, extra buttons etc that are required for this so I hope you'll join me with that